Greece is facing a phenomenon the likes of which have not been seen in the past. Strong stone venues in the central regions of the country. Some areas received more than twice the average annual rainfall. Heavy downpours turned rivers into raging torrents, broke dams, washed away roads and bridges, and swept cars out to sea. The flooding cloud devastating wildfire. The historic storm flooded much of the Thessalian plain, the country's only relatively flat area. As the Pelion Peninsula rainfall exceeded 800 mm in less than 48 hours, a record in Greek history. Residents of some villages took refuge on the roofs of their houses, clean from flood waters, the height of which exceeded meters. The police ban traffic from three regions, including the island of Skiatos. Through weather services, warns of the storm's approach, its arrival has havoc in the center of Athens. The rain was so heavy that flash floods occurred in the streets of the capital, which washed away pedestrians. Fortunately, there were no serious consequences. In Farias, the main port of the country, the depth of the water on the streets was about 40 centimeters. But the worst case scenario developed in Wallace, which its mayor called a war zone. Much of Magnesia, the region where the port city is located remains without potable water and electricity for the second day in a row.
Residents called radio stations to report the destruction of houses and ask for help. Hundreds of residents waited on the upper floors of their homes for help watching the streets and cars disappear into the night. Lainia, a city of 44,000 inhabitants, is completely flooded. There is no official count of the number of municipalities flooded yet. At the moment, four people are known to have died and six are missing. 